Okay, I got about two minutes left here, so I'll try to enable it so what's going on here. Um, recirculation means that there's no water flowing out of the outflow. Ha well, that's what a one means. Has flood means it's flooded during this one 15 minute cycle. So I'm, I'm enabling recirculation. Recirculation's enabled because we're within its time window. So during a time window, or if I flood it already, it'll go. That recirc enable all these numbers right here, except for recirc will go to zero when this number gets to 900,000. So 15 minutes. <clears throat> and at that time, has flood will be zero, recirc enable will be zero, recirc will stay one, the bypass valve will shut, the grow bed will flood until it floods. When it floods, this thing will see. Uh, zeros for 15 of these passes when that happens that becomes a one that then turns on the recirculation valve and then doesn't allow it to flood again until this whole cycles up I know that sounds really weird and complicated but here we go we're about 10 seconds away seven <clears throat> and two one. Oh, nope sorry my bad Math is off. We still got about another 30 seconds now. 30 seconds. <clears throat> you'll hear the valve pick up. And you'll hear the water start squirting into the grow bed. There you go. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. There goes the grow bed. Recirc's at one, so that there's no water coming out of the discharge. Has flood is zero. Recirc enabled is zero, so it's not recirculating. It is not recirculating. And the water is coming into the grow bed. Because the, grow, the recirc valve is closed, therefore the water gets pumped up can't go through the recirculation valve therefore it's forced upstairs when it sees water flowing out of this out discharge pipe for 15 of those counts it will then which equivalent it's about half a second or so maybe maybe a little bit slower faster than that but when the water gets up to the top and it starts flooding it'll recirc home it'll do it again I'm doing this because I want to still recirculate the water but at the same time I want this grow bed to be able to completely drain <clears throat> one reason is, is one of the functions that this thing's coming to that I'm gonna install is gonna be a water level probe when the whole thing's completely drained the grow beds drained there now it's flooding you just heard it just recirculate now it's recirculating the water over here so now <clears throat> it's both discharging here and over there and has flood is one that means it's it, that means that it's flooded once in the cycle and it won't start again until this number gets back up to 900,000 again so okay what does this mean well obviously I can't add water to this thing automatically when there's water up in the grow bed because if I do and I say fill it to the top and it happens to do that when there's water up here as soon as this water discharges I'm gonna have two things I'm gonna have a hell of a mess in the house and I'm gonna have a pissed off wife so <clears throat> I'm allowing this thing to completely flood in 15 seconds after the 15 minutes that way I'm still flooding it and draining the grow bed every 15 minutes so the plants still get all the moisture they need. I can adjust that later if I need to. I can tweak the numbers and stuff and make it, if I want to make it flood more or less. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is while it's in this relaxed state like this and it's recirculating, this is the time at which I'm going to dose... Um, an acid or a base solution. Um, the acid I've elected to go with because it's been doing me right so far. 
vinegar. And I'm going with, this bottle's gonna be empty here pretty soon. If nothing else, I'll dump it out so I can use the bottle, I'll wash it out, and then I'm gonna use this one for my base, which I've got powder formed hydrated lime. I'm gonna take it and just add like maybe a quarter cup or whatever, just to throw it in there. Shake it up and get it all good and dissolved. And then I'll run fish tank tubing up to here. And then these holes right here are for, pause. Okay, these holes right here are so I can mount these pumps. And these pumps, I have two of them. One will be for acid, one will be for base. They are, stand by, there. They are a standard, like, dosing pump peristalsis, I think it's called, pump. So as the motor turns, it turns these little wheels, which pumps the stuff around. And then that'll dose it into there. And I'm actually looking at, since this valve has this port right here on it, I'm thinking about this right here being a really good place to dose the acid or the base because it would get mixed up with recirculating water immediately and the recirculation of the tank would cycle it right away so it would go in there quickly and then basically it's only going to adjust pH once every 15 minutes <clears throat> with whatever it needs but I'm not ready to do that yet because my uh, pH probe needs to be calibrated still but if I, uh, if I stop auto scrolling this You can see that even though all this stuff's going on, I'm still reading pH. I'm still... I'm still reading pH and I'm still reading temperature. Even though all this stuff's going on. This is just scrolling up there because I don't have a delay on it. These water temperature and the pH readings I have on a delay. They're on a one second delay. These right here just, whenever the data comes it just spits it out. So, that's what that is. Thanks for watching. I know this one was a long one, but I had to explain the whole thing. Peace.